You've got a nifty job when you can go fishing in the middle of the day and still call it work. But Ron Blair with UT Extension left his rod and reel on the shore. He's patrolling this Murray County pond in Extension shock boat, a floating device that emits a current, stunning the fish and causing them to float to the surface. This is a way that we can go into a landowner's pond, put the boat in, get a good, uh, a good representative sample that you won't get with a hook and line because a hook and line only gets the aggressive fish. These sunfish look like they're belly up for good, but don't worry, they're perfectly fine. The front of the boat sends out a positive charge. I actually trigger it by stepping on this pad. The charge then goes out about 15 feet, and when the fish feel it, they're momentarily stunned by the pulse, a condition known as galvanotaxis. Ryan can then easily net them. This technique is a common measurement tool used in aquaculture throughout the world. It looks at fish population in terms of abundance, density, and species. You know, is the pond in balance? Uh, do we need to make some adjustments? Uh, are there some species maybe that we don't want in the pond? Blair, Kelly Aminette of Morgan County, and Grundy County's Craig Kimbrough are UT Extension's three pond specialists, each representing a division of Tennessee. If this bass is probably four years old, maybe five, no shocking developments here. They found bass and shell crackers, but no crappie, a species that can offset the balance in a pond and compete for food supply. The best time to shock a pond is early summer before the water temperature gets too high and fish are less active. The shock boat survey is just one way the agents work with landowners to manage their ponds. Folks look for the pond for different reasons. Some people want to manage it for wildlife. Uh, some people just want it from an aesthetic standpoint. But really, uh, what we're about is really fish pond management. And so we're trying to make sure folks understand that there has to be a balance to their pond. The fish that got a shock are later weighed and measured and then released unharmed. The UT experts say this is an effective pond management tool a good way to gauge the health of a waterway by really seeing what lives there. This is Chuck Denny reporting.